My 43F son's 15M friend, 15M, took my inappropriate photos on holiday and he shared them with other people. Last summer when COVID-19 has hit everywhere, we wanted to get away from the city and went on vacation to our summer house. My son wanted to take his best friend with us and it was totally fine for us because both my husband and I have known him and his family for almost 10 years and they grew up together. We had a holiday for two weeks and came back. I have never felt he had been into such things things and it took me some time to believe it. Yesterday, one of my son's friends sent me a message on Instagram because he didn't have my number and wanted to share something with me. He apologized for telling me this now and made me promise that I won't tell anyone I heard this from him. I had no idea what he was talking about and thought he was going to tell me something my son did. He told me that this kid whom we took on our vacation took some inappropriate pictures of me, while sunbathing on the beach, walking in the house with my sweet swimsuit and bikini, and that he has been sharing these with his friends and some other people online. I didn't believe he was telling me the truth but he shared the photos with me. I can't say describe how angry I got but I don't want to do something wrong. I will tell his parents because I know them very well but at the same time I don't want to traumatize a teenager. Also, he is 15 not 10 and I think I am right to expect some more common sense from him. My son doesn't know any of this. What is the best step to take here? I would love to hear some advice. Thank you very much in advance. Make sure someone has a conversation with the boy who took the pictures so he knows that boundaries were crossed and that he needs to take down and delete the photos if he hasn't already. This conversation shouldn't be traumatizing. He needs to understand that he needs to respect you and other women or this behavior might continue but targeted at other girls slash women. Traumatized a teen, he is doing this at 15, give him 10 more years. For real, this is some sex offender 101 stuff, very prone to escalating. Exactly. He's 15 not 10. He knows better. 10 year old would know better. Go tell that son's family. Have to tell his parents as soon as possible and he has to delete them. It's important you tell your son too because if he finds out from gossip, it will be harder. But tell the parents first. Unfortunately this is not going to go down well and the friendships will be over. You can't ever go on holiday and trust him again. My boyfriend masturbated right next to me even after I tried to initiate. My, 22 meters, boyfriend and I, 19F, were about to go to bed, but my boyfriend decided to continue playing on his Nintendo Switch, which he had done for most of the day today. He's also had friends over every day this weekend, and tonight was the first night we've been alone since Friday, so I tried initiating. I had my hands on him for what felt like an hour and he still just kept playing Nintendo. By this point I had asked him multiple times if he wanted to have sex and each time he just replied I don't know, do you? Which made me feel like he was just offering to have sex with me out of obligation rather than because he wanted to. It had also reached a point where I was falling asleep from exhaustion but he still asked me to put my hands back. By then I was feeling insecure and upset, especially since lately he hasn't been initiating as much and I feel like he barely tries to make me come. Eventually I just told him I was going to bed because I was passing out but he started masturbating literally right next to me. I was absolutely angry and asked him if he could, at the very least, go to the restroom and he refused. He then got mad at me because I was uncomfortable with the entire situation saying I made him feel gross since I didn't want him to masturbate next to me. I felt like it was unfair for him to be upset with me for that, especially after I had told him I felt insecure and didn't want him to masturbate right next to me. He still kept trying to masturbating after that. I ended up leaving the room and came back when he was asleep because at this point I was extremely upset. I don't even know what to do. Can't tell if I'm overreacting. But I asked him if he could please not masturbate next to me and he chose to do it anyways, even after I tried initiating. I really feel like he doesn't want to have sex with me as much as I do with him and it's hurting my self-esteem, 
and him masturbating right next to me is making me extremely upset and I don't even know how to get him to understand why I'm not happy about the issue. I know this post also comes off as dumb or immature but I would like some advice on how to start a conversation to address this problem. Edit, thank you so much to everyone who replied. I didn't expect many people to read my post at all. Especially thank you to everyone that emphasized healthy communication, because that's exactly what our problem was. We talked out our miscommunication and discussed how we can be better about this in the future. My boyfriend is genuinely an amazing person and our relationship is healthy aside from this problem. I've also set better expectations and boundaries for myself. I also want to add that I think masturbating is completely okay. I was upset with how the circumstances played out and with the fact that he continued to masturbate next to me after I asked him not to, not with the fact that that he masturbated at all. That being said, I still won't tolerate someone masturbating next to me without my consent again. Thank you again to everyone that helped me approach this problem in a healthy manner. I truly appreciate it so very much. What a bunch of weird ass comments. My girlfriend gets all touchy too, but she doesn't need to ask. And if she did I'd say yes and put down the switch. Is this like a fetish for him or something? My girlfriend has directly asked me to jack off next to her in bed while she sleeps and even that makes me uncomfortable. I can't imagine doing it if she said not to. I think you need to communicate better. Not about wanting to have sex, I think that was pretty clear. But about how you felt ignored while he played on his switch and well, ignored your advances. You also definitely need to bring him jacking off up again because if he is okay doing those kinds of things without your consent maybe you should reconsider the relationship. Thank you. I feel like I hear Op saying she feels ignored and unattractive because he doesn't even attempt to pleasure her or initiate sex with her. She wants him to want her, there's nothing abnormal about that. These comments are really weirding me out. Who directly asked him if he wanted to have sex? He didn't give a strongly positive answer, so you didn't continue to pursue it. That's entirely fair. And when you asked him to stop masturbating in front of you, he absolutely should have stopped. It is wrong to make someone a witness to a sexual act without their consent. I don't have any advice I just want to reassure you that you're not immature or dumb, and tbh the communication issues sound like they're on his part, not ours. And if he doesn't take it seriously that he chose to subject you to a sexual act without your consent then I would wonder whether it's safe to be with him. It seems like no one else is pointing out how inappropriate it is to continue masturbating next to someone when they ask you to stop or just leave. That concerns me more than anything else, which can be chalked up to a lack of communication. It sounds like he just wanted slash wants to be serviced without having to do anything for you in return. The whole gaming while answering I don't know, do you? Sounds to me like he was hoping you'd just keep going and jerk him off, while he could continue gaming. Whole masturbating thing sounds like a mix of asserting control slash guilt tripping. Like he was either trying to show you he can do what he wants and you have to take it, or that after a while you'd feel bad and do it for him. I have a feeling this goes way deeper and Terry's a ton of red flags about his behavior you haven't noticed yet. Sounds like he just wanted you to do all the work. Baby, I'm gonna tell you something and it is a fact. This boy does not care if you are satisfied. He cares about one thing, and that is that he is satisfied. That will carry over into other portions of your relationship as well. He won't care if you're emotionally satisfied either as long as he is. He didn't want to have sex with you because he wanted you to get him off without him putting in any effort. He knew that you wanted to. When you stopped, he decided he'd just finish the job himself, which is both insulting to you and disrespectful respectful when he wouldn't stop or move. Would I break up with someone for this? abso fucking lootly. Especially if he has been lazy in the relationship lately. He does not care about you. You are just convenient to him. Don't tie yourself down to someone like that. Leave his sorry ass. Our mother, 53F, is giving me, 25F, 
and my sister, 22F, the silent treatment because we are in favor of getting vaccinated. First off we're from a small European country where currently only the old and high risk are getting vaccinations. Also obligatory not native English speaker. Also am on mobile. So me and my younger sister Kit, 22F, were quietly discussing that in June vaccine registration will open for everyone in our country. We are both interested in getting the vaccine. We were overheard by our older sister, Fox, 32F, who just like our mom is not fully supporting the vaccine or mask wearing. They both follow and listen to people who claim to be doctors who say the COVID vaccines are bad and that masks are useless. All the great content. And they are both very much into the idea of natural medicine, there is nothing that can't be cured with diet and such. Anyway, Fox overheard us and told mom, 53F, who reacted with how could you do this to me you're both so young, and then didn't talk to us for the rest of the day, she sulked like a child, and didn't really discuss anything with us. At least Fox cared to listen to our points, though she sticks to her own still. I understand that from their side they are concerned for our health, just like we are for theirs, but we clearly have different ideas about what that means. So my question and advice I seek is, how do I stop this from splitting the family apart when Kit and I get vaccinated eventually? Question mark. Thanks. Edit. Thank you all for input. You can stop replying now. She's speaking to us again and we have talked stuff over. Bye. Do what you want to do get vaccinated. They have their views, you have yours, they won't change and neither will you. Live your life and let them do whatever they want. Avoid the topic. Get vaccinated. When they see you aren't dead they'll calm down. Don't bring up the subject with her, and if she starts nagging again just say mum I love you but I have my own views on the vaccine based on my research. I don't want to fall out over this so can we please not argue then change the subject. get the vaccine. In the meantime, try not to get into arguments about it. Where I live people deflect arguments by saying oh, not that again, and smiling. It means I respect your right to hold a view different from mine. I've been saying that a lot recently. It might even be possible to get the vaccine without having to tell anyone. Get vaccinated. How to stop to keep the family from splitting. You can't. You respect them. They should respect you back as well. You may be younger than her, but you both are not young, fully capable of knowing what's best for you.